Hello, my name is Aldiana Della Sara, and today we are going to be making trochies using this plant, which is lemon balm. A little bit about lemon balm. Traditionally, it's been used as an antiviral, a nervine, and even an antidepressant. If you don't have lemon balm growing in your yard, try asking around. If your friends have lemon balm, they probably have a lot of it and are more than willing to get rid of some, if not most of it. So the first thing I want to do to make a trochee is to dry out my lemon balm. What I would do to dry it out very well is just place fresh harvest, harvested lemon balm into a paper bag and put this paper bag in the dashboard of my car on a sunny day and just let it dry out to a nice crispy consistency. I want to take those nice crispy herbs and crunch them up and put them in a coffee grinder. And the nice thing about doing this is you don't have to spend an hour with this. So now I have my lemon balm crunched up a little bit inside my coffee grinder. Just going to cover it up. I want to try to get it as to fine a powder as I possibly can. Now, I did this quite a bit before I started the video, so as you can see, it's pretty fine. It's a nice, vibrant green color, too. When I'm all done crunching and grinding up my lemon balm, I am going to transfer it over to a little bowl and set it aside to you after the next step. The next step is to create a mucilage. We're going to create our mucilage using two things. We need a gum. Uh, right here I have tragacanth. You can also use gum arabic, but tragacanth is pretty awesome and is really the preferable of the two. The other thing I have for my mucilage is cold water. I have measured out one ounce of cold water and I'm going to measure out one quarter teaspoon of tragacanth gum. I'm going to level it out as I measure it. Put it in and pour in my nice cold water. You do want to use cold water because that's what's going to form your mucilage easiest. Okay, so I want to keep stirring and keep stirring and keep stirring my gum. Um, as you stir, it'll want to clump up a little bit on you. So you might want to switch over to a little fork and just kind of break up your clumps as you go along. It might take a few minutes you're not experienced with it to get it to the right consistency. Alternatively, what you may want to try to do, if you want to make sure that your mucilage sets up nicely, is make your mucilage the day before you plan on making your trophies. This is the fun part. Now, as for the history of trophies, I'm not going to go into that in this video. But right now, I'm working on an article all about the history of trochies and historical methods of making trochies. But I can tell you that they do have a very long history. The nice thing about trochies is that they preserve powder in a form that can be carried around really easily. Our trochies are going to end up looking like little round dried out cakes. Um, if you've never seen a trochie before, they're just a dried herbal lozenge. They're very similar to Fisherman's Friend, if you've ever seen that product. Okay, we're getting a nice consistency on the mucilage now. It'll start looking like, um, <laughs> it'll start looking kind of like shampoo, like a thick, creamy shampoo. Okay, just another minute or two. Now, while I'm using lemon balm today, there's a lot of different herbs that you can use to make trochies. Um, slippery elm is a good one. Um, licorice root is another. Traditionally, trochies are used um, for any kind of ailment that is going on in your mouth or your throat. Okay, we have nice consistency now. I'll try to show it to the camera. If you can see that, I hope you can. If not, you can get a really good view of it when you make your trochies. Now that I have a nice mucilage, 
what I'm going to do is add in some orris root. Um, this will help act as a binder for my lemon balm and keep it so it doesn't crumble after I mix up my turkey. So I'm just going to put in half a teaspoon. I'm leveling out again as I'm measuring it, putting it in, and I'm going to mix that in with my mucilage. Now, as you can probably tell at this point, making turkeys is an incredibly scary thing to do. Um, it requires no heat, very little experience, and it's kind of hard to mess up. The only way you can really mess up is if you don't grind your herb into a nice, fine powder. You want as fine a powder as you can possibly get. The more it looks like baby powder, the better. Okay, as you can see, my orris root is nicely mixed in there now. Mmm, looks delicious. Okay, so my next step is to put in my herb. I'm going to measure out, out of there, spoon, four teaspoons of my herb. I'm just going to level them out in the air as I go along. We have one, two, three, and four. Now I've left a little bit more than I think I need just in case I don't get it quite thick enough. For turkeys it's better to start off with a little bit less than you think you're going to need. That way if you need more you can add it in. It's much harder to put in more mucilage than it is to put in a little bit more of powdered herb. As you can see, it, it kind of looks like cookie dough at this point, which is probably a little bit more moist than I want it. So I'm just going to take in a very technical measurement of a smidgen into there. Just try to mix it up a little bit. Right now it smells really awesome. The nice thing about making trochies from lemon balm is that lemon balm itself already has a really nice lemony flavor. In fact, if you're looking for lemon balm in your yard and you think you have it, you will definitely know it by its smell. Okay, so look at that green. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, now, as you can see, as I'm stirring it, it's not really sticking that much to the sides. It's kind of like a good bread dough at this point. So I can start rolling. Now I've measured out pieces of wax paper that are going to fit nicely inside of a brown paper bag. That way, after I roll my trochies and flatten them out a bit, I can just put them in my paper bag and put them in the dashboard of my car and let them dry out completely. Okay. So to start off, I want probably hmm, about the size of a chickpea of my herb mixture. And I'm just going to use my hands and just roll it in between my palms. Now these are going to shrink a little bit. I'm just going to squidge it down, but look, it's a nice perfect little circle. And just kind of go along. It's a nice methodical process to do. If you've done any kind of baking before, this is a really familiar thing. Ooh. Like I said, they will shrink a little bit. But these are a nice size. I'm happy with these. These can be stored after they dry in a tin or a little plastic bag. And they can be put, that's a little bit big, in your little herbal first aid kit or just carry it around with you or give it to a friend that you know will love them. There you go. So I have three little trochies for them. And after they're all dried, I will post a picture of them to my website. Ooh, pretty trochies. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you get some time, check out historicherbal.com. And sometime in the fall, I will have my finished article on trochies. Update it and post it onto the site. Enjoy making your own.